Christmas presents a different feeling when you're deployed to Afghanistan. It's really hard to get in the Christmas spirit. Yes, we need more bags. But certain people go out of their way to bring holiday joy to places where it might yeah. be hard to find. No, not yet. Setting up Christmas decorations, you just hear the carols playing in your head. And the spirit is contagious. And every single person who walks around the corner looks and uh, has eyes wide agape at the hallway after the decorations go up, and it really puts everybody into the Christmas spirit. This initiative wasn't Captain Retcamp's idea. That credit goes to a group in McLeansboro, Illinois. A lot of the families back in the United States got together and they have a group called Stockings for Sailors to send stocking, Christmas stockings forward to sailors that are stationed here in Afghanistan. Stockings for Sailors is just one of many organizations keeping deployed troops in their minds and hearts during the holidays. Programs like this are critical just to, to keep everybody uh, fully aware of how much the, the United States public and their families support us. It really does a lot to change the routine here to see the indications of, uh, of that caring spirit coming back from the people who support us back in the United States. Now, just as presents rest underneath the tree for weeks at home, these gifts will hang on the walls until it's time to open them. We have a lot of stockings put together by uh, this caring group of people. Uh, they're going to get snatched up by the uh, sailors whose names are on them and then a lot extra of uh, stockings that we've labeled for any service member for the rest of the joint force that are here to uh, come and, and uh, grab a hold of on Christmas morning. And when that time comes, the hope of stockings for sailors is to bring the Christmas spirit to those serving away from home. Air Force Staff Sergeant Mike Larman, Kabul, Afghanistan.